Uh, this is gonna be a different, a little bit different video than I usually do. Different format. You know, I was just thinking. Uh, well, uh, let me just. I'm on iVlog right now. Uh, born on iVlog Chatter Bay, but uh, let's see. <laughs> Eggy, yeah. Uh, Tipman. Uh, that's who he was two years ago. Suzy Q169 band. Band, band, band. Uh, yeah, that was either Shaz, eh? I'm Bandman Shaz, eh? There's your last chance, I'm Bandman. It's a warning, Shaz, eh? <laughs> uh, KY, I kind of don't feel like going in there right now. You know, I was just thinking about something like when I was young, you know, and I was around my cousins, you know, I remember being in Poland, I was like 13, 14. You know, even 93, I was, I was going on 14, I was still 13, but and we were young and none of us had, you know, any offspring and I was just thinking, you know, um, uh, I was like, wow, imagine, you know, we grow up and like, you know, what kind of lives we're going to have, uh, and we're going to see each other, we're going to be, and also, you know, how, you know, our children going to be, are they going to get along with each other, you know, because like, you, you would think like, you know, uh, your aunts and uncles, they have kids, right, and they're your cousins, but, you know, it's like, uh, and we see each other, and then, you know, there was tensions, this and that, there was, you know, I knew what they were about, what I was about, you know, even like, even like two years ago, you know, two or three years ago, I just, you know, I started thinking, you know, uh, my cousins had kids, and like, you know, uh, let's say like, you know, 10, 20 years from now, at least that's what I thought then, you know, it's like, how, how will it be, like, what we, like, you know, will we see each other, you know, uh, like, uh, us cousins and stuff uh there's some that you know don't have kids but there's some that do and it's like um we're here we're here in jersey and stuff but like will we you know will we like uh meet for holidays or something like that or will everyone just go on their own you know and it was just you know that was like the last thing i thought about when i was a teenager or i uh, just became a teenager you know it i don't know if it fascinated me but it but it also kind of bothered me when i you know I guess I figured it out, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's just like how, you know, like people don't even think that. And let's say you have a brother or sister and you don't think, well, 10, 20 years from now, you know, uh, what kind of family they're going to have? Uh, what kind of family am I going to have? Uh, are we going to get along? Are we going to see each other even, you know? It was on my mind, you know? I couldn't imagine, you know? Uh, uh, both my, uh, like two female cousins, you know, because they were... Uh, well, one was in was was in the states later, and you know, I just wondered, wow. Imagine she like needs, I don't know, uh, a different person than a Polish person, for example, you know. And it's like you know, the whole family of us will ch it will change to a certain degree, you know. Because before that, I mean, we were all uh, like a Pol white Caucasian Polish people, you know. But we migrated to the states. Um, another my cousin was in was in England, you know white guy but uh, nonetheless british and stuff and it's like all right well you know it, it already changes the dynamic to a certain degree you know i mean before you know we weren't uh you know we were uh, my immediate fa i mean not my mom and dad but like uh, the rest of the relatives we were all the same too that too and just you know we just i would just think about that stuff you know it, it would just fascinate me but then it just came to my mind like, like there's people like you know my cousins they didn't even think about that they didn't even care and people just well, so what? I don't care. I don't think about what I care about that. So it's like, you know, so you don't care about those people and the children and the family setting. You don't care about anything. You know, the fact that you just go, so what? What? Why would I want to know? Why would I care? So, you know, just, I guess, go, go about your life, you know, your own way, you know? I mean, that's pretty much what it is, you know? It, it kind of makes you feel... People like that, I just, I just empty, empty headed, empty hearted, for like a better word, the hearted part. I try not to use that, but you know, they just, uh, they don't have, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know, uh, anything about them worthy, worthy. Like, then what are you alive for? You know, and I'm not talking about like in the states. They always told you, at least they repeated that. You know, you gotta, you gotta plan out. You gotta like uh, set your mark, like where you're gonna be five years from now. I mean, I think they're talking about a, a lot of stuff, but. You know, it, it could be just financial, educational, this and that. But I mean, this is this is for life too. You know, because you can always just uh, uh, change your education or uh, learn something new, learn a new trade. You know, 
And you could always change that. But these are the people that, you know, you first known that were your family and they were your age, you know. So you start to wonder about them, you know. Are they going to live here, this and that? And they, a lot, none of them just, you know, they, they didn't even care. You know, they just didn't have a forethought where they just, you know, they're like, well, why are you thinking about that or something like that? You know, just like, why, why would I, why do I want to know that? Or why would I want to think about that? You know, it's it just very eerie, you know, it, it's very like a, not just shallow, but an empty vessel of, of, a, of an individual to, you know, not even care or even, you know, uh, try to even think about that, you know, and it, it almost like left me, I don't know how I thought, how I felt when I was younger, but it almost uh, left me just like uh, alone to a certain degree, you know, very alone. So, you know, I just, I just knew I had to, you know, just, I guess, keep to myself, you know, I stay safe, but you know, eh, I, I'm not different. They're, uh, they're indifferent to, uh, to, uh, to, um, to what uh, the human experience should be. You know, because if, if you don't have that for you don't you don't ponder that even for a little and doesn't like, you know, uh, bother you or, or, you know, capture your imagination, then I mean, then what do you what are your life for? I said that already, but, you know, I I never uh, I never wanted anything uh, bad for those people, even though we're like that. You know, I, I just kept them at a distance because a lot of times they got me uh, not just in trouble. They start a lot of drama and they. They pretty much hated on me. They, uh, you know, they ridiculed me to to a certain degree. You know, a lot, a lot of times. And you know, I came back. I made jokes about them, but they weren't that serious. You know, a lot of the, uh, their jokes were like um, pretty much just disgusting and creepy and stuff like that. Um, one of the last jokes. Uh, it was an Easter. You know, my cousin uh, Agnieszka. I made a video about called I got groups. It's, it's derogatory because I'm making fun of her weight. You know, I'm not into that. I mean, you know, I'm just very angry. But you know, she made. She said that you know she was in, she was uh, like talking to my cousin Robert Skorupa there. And it was East. It was a couple years ago, and she said, "Oh yeah, your great the great great grandmother was haunting you after her death." And they just start laughing. And you know, I, he never. I don't think he ever spent that much time with great great grandmother when she was in the basement in a. In the house that I showed uh, in Poland, Gorica, you know, or uh, on Zamkova. Like, he never went, to, like, it, they just weren't there. I actually got locked in there in the basement and I started spending time with my great grandmother. She was, you know, in, in her bed and she was going blind. You know, she was practically blind and stuff. And, you know, Agnieszka over there said, I uh, think he's trying to scare me so that she's going to haunt me after her death or something like that. You know, there's people that talk to the deceased. It's very creepy and disturbing because it's a different dimension, you know. But, you know, even on Easter, right? When you're like, yeah, you see, you, 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 I mean, <laughs> even if, I'm not into, uh, you know, the, the religious holiday, but, you know, it's just, it's just creepy to say that nonetheless and make fun of something like that, you know. But, I mean, you know, th these are the relatives that I have, you know, and I just, a lot of times I just stay to myself, you know. When I, when I was uh, younger, when I came back from um, a vacation in Poland in 93, I believe, you know, I did write letters to some once or twice. And I got two or three letters say that they wrote back. You know, I do. Obviously, I don't have the letters that I wrote. I didn't have a Xerox machine. <laughs> uh, but you know, I do have, like, two or three letters that some of the cousins wrote to me. Uh, they, were, they were all girls. They were, uh, one was older than me. Uh, two of them, uh, one was roughly my age, one was younger. You know, and I think I have, I think I have another one, too. I just, I got to look because I... I've been looking at it for a couple months ago, and I saw that. And I just remember I always kept those things, you know. Uh, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> things were how they were, but you know, someone took the time to to write to you, and we didn't just. I remember. I think I. I don't know if I wrote back. I didn't write back. Just you know, uh, you know, when you're a kid, you're gonna really sit there write letters. I could go on and on about that because there was a there was a there was a certain thing. You know, we had uh, uh, in elementary school. It was a. Uh, pen pal thing, and I thought it was the coolest thing, you know, but I don't think I ain't got anything back, you know, it's like you wrote to somebody, and it's like you never got a letter back, so what's the point, who knows if somebody ever even read it, you know, I mean, that's a good idea, but uh, if people don't have that forethought, why would they have the forethought to just, you know, uh, uh, write a letter back and just communicate in a certain way, or just have a conversation nonetheless about something positive, you know, that's what that is.